Hello and welcome to another mod spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. This spotlight is going to be on the Orbital Ion Cannon mod. And this one I am super excited about. Like, like I enjoy all the mod spotlights, but this one I'm pretty psyched about. That This is pretty awesome. So, uh, for anyone who's played Command and Conquer, personally I have not, but I guess there was like a weapon in that game. Uh, an ion cannon that you would like launch into space or something and it could shoot down um, from there and rain down destruction well someone has made a mod for Factorio based off of that and it's uh, it's pretty damn awesome so let's uh, let's go ahead and start here with the research it adds the research here the orbital ion cannon to the game and it is expensive it's uh, 2,000, um, because there's two times a thousand of each science pack, a uh, 60 second timer, right? So quite a lot, pretty expensive. Okay, so then the actual cannon itself uh, takes a minute to make, which isn't that bad, but it takes 100 low density structures, 100 solar panels, 200 base accumulators, 10 radar, 200 processing units, 10 electric engines, 25 lasers, and 50 rocket fuel. So it is very expensive. But this mod is, uh, the developer said in the post that, you know, if you have a factory, like a huge mega base or whatever, and you're not really, you don't have anything super specific to spend resources on, this would definitely be something good for that. And, uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. So, how this works is you actually launch it, um, with, with a rocket. Um, you can see there in the description of the item. Um, launch this ion cannon into orbit with a rocket, and you'll be able to utilize its massive firepower. So... I've launched one already um, because there is a cooldown timer um, between when they can fire. But I have another rocket here ready just to show you. And uh, before we really get into it here, I want to mention first of all that this is compatible with Bob's mods, um, like Warfare and stuff. The dev of the mod made it that way so it will adjust its cost um, for making it and all kind of other stuff in relation to Bob's if you're using that. And the other thing is there's obviously a config file. You can change the damage, the blast radius, and there's actually like, um, there's like announcer voices um, from the Command and Conquer game he added in that you'll hear, like like it says, like um, when, when the thing's ready and stuff, and that it's been launched. You can turn those off as well in the config if you want to. Um, you know, personally, I'd leave them on because I wouldn't really remember when things are ready. But let's go ahead here. Uh, you build a rocket, you know, in game of Factorio, normal. Uh, rocket inventory here, okay? You, um, you're supposed to put the satellite in here, uh, normally, but if we go ahead and put the ion cannon in here, okay, let's just say we made one, we can stick it in here, and you launch it with the rocket, okay? So I launched one, and, uh, now I'm going to launch this one, just to kind of show you. And we'll take a second here. Here we go. And once this goes up, the announcer should tell us. Okay, so Factorio popped up and, uh, and told me this. I could probably have gotten rid of that. But you might have heard um, the beginning of a female announcer, you know, saying Ion Cannon launched. Ion Cannon 2, it will be ready in 180 seconds. Okay, so there is a cooldown, and after it fires, there's also a cooldown. So the um, UI button here, it adds one up here for Ion Cannons, and there's a few different menus. One of them is the Ion Cannon Details Full, and uh, this would just show, I mean, this would have a huge list if you had like 30 of them up there. And then there's the Ion Cannon Details Compact, okay, which uh, makes it so this doesn't like go across your whole screen. It just shows the number of you have in orbit, um, the number ready to fire, and the time until the next one is ready to fire, okay? So those are the two different options, and then you can just close it. Now, if we go, um, we need to make this Ion Targeting Device for it to actually work, and you... Um, for clarification, this part is not unlocked through research. This might confuse people. This is only unlocked after you launch your first ion cannon, okay? 
So if you don't find it, like in the menu or whatever, after you've researched it, you have to launch your first cannon um, to even get access to this. And it's not that expensive. Processing unit, plastic bar, and battery. Uh, now you could use this to clear trees. Uh, I think this is probably better Spanish used target. Um, against biters. You could you heard the announcer there. Uh, let's go find a biter base and test it out. Graphics are pretty awesome for the explosion. And uh, here we go. Here's a biter base. Select target. And again, you can turn that off. Now, I don't know the actual range. Um, but one thing to note is you do not want to be close to this. And there you go. So, it, uh... It makes a little sound when it um, fires. And it does a lot of damage. I looked in the config. I believe it does, like, 2,000... Uh, explosion damage and then like 500 impact damage or uh, something close to that and it looks like our next one wouldn't be ready to fire for another uh, 45 seconds but it's it's really cool so you know if you're at the end game and you kind of run out of stuff to really spend resources on but you still want to have some fun and there's buyer bases around or you just want to clear trees um, the explosion radius is quite large you can see it took out all these worms uh, and the, these trees around here, so you can actually see the blast radius um, is about this big. Uh, super, super cool mod. I, I'm like super excited about this. Uh, I know I said super a lot, but I am definitely going to use this. I highly recommend it. This is, um, by the way, this mod is done on version 0.12.13, so not the latest one, I but um, there you go. The announcer said it was ready. Um, but it is on a version after the one that broke the mod, so this should work fine um, on pretty much any Factorio version um, 0 0.12 and up, maybe. It might have to be 0 0.12.11 and up. Um, but if we take this and Select do it again, target. I'll zoom in a little so you can see it better. Um, let's do it over here. And there you go. So pretty awesome graphic, um, big explosion radius, and uh, you know they each have a cooldown after firing. Uh, so if you wanted to use a ton of these, you would obviously want to launch um, far more than two. Um, very good way to spend resources, and I, I really think that about covers it. As always, there will be a link in the description to the forum post, and there will also be um, a little written description um, of the mod in the video description as well. Definitely check it out if you're into these like um, advanced weapon stuff um, for the game. It's kind of like Supreme Warfare, um, but you know, a little different. Very, very cool. So, hope you go check it out. Hope you enjoy the spotlight and uh, found it informative. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.